Hi ladies, I'm on again. It's set. Today is what day when? Um Tuesday. And you may not see this video until um, Thursday. I don't know. But I've made this and it's for my friend Betsy Doodle. I haven't made her out really nice for ages and she sent me some lovely stuff, lovely handmade stuff. And um, I've got lots of friends on YouTube, but she's she's the first one that I got really pally with, um, to be honest. Um, I've made loads of friends since. <laughs> but she was the first one that I got really, really pally with. Um, I think world of her, I think she's lovely. Um, so I wanted to make something nice. Um, but I didn't want to put it on before she got it, because she doesn't know she's getting it. She's no idea. Um, it's part of Karen McClure's happiness challenge. Um, but it's a little bit more special because it, it's my mate D. So, um, I have made her a little fabric book. But I've used um, quite a lot. I'm quite tight with stuff, mate. You know, because stuff's expensive, I can be a bit tight with stuff on my projects. And I haven't been on this one. I've used all my, all my favouritest, nicest stuff, and I've used a lot of it. So she better like it. <laughs> right, so. Um, I've constructed it out of um, this lovely material I've got, um, which started life as a massive pair of curtains. The light looks a bit... I'm just moving you because the light looks a bit... Because it's so bright through my windows, it's making me look dark. Um, started life as curtains from a second hand shop. Um, and um, so yeah, I've wadded it and I've sewn round the um, covers with my sewing machine. And then I've lined the side with rosette trim um, that I've had gifted. Um, I I think that one's come from Crafty Mail, I'm not sure. Um, I've made this flower using my new um, Tim Holtz Tattered Florals <laughs> dye. I just I was practicing. So I cut loads just out of random bits of net curtain, folded them up. Uh, uh, you know, yield, gathered flower round back. And then I've got a mixture of feathers, pink ones, and there are, you can't see them very good. I've just bought these and all, I'm not overly impressed with them. Maribou feathers, um, there's cream ones, and then the pink ones that were quite cheap. And then a little handmade bling that I've made. This little butterfly that uh, Karen McClure gifted me, and some of my lovely favourite trim from Crafty Moo. I love it. So I've used quite a lot of that. And then my favourite little flowers and my favourite doodars and I've put that all the way around the front and the back. And on the back I've got these um, little appliques that I've fussy cut from a strip of lace. Um, and then this is my last one of these that Irene gifted me and I love them. I'm going to have to have a look on um, eBay and get some more. I hoarded it and hoarded it and hoarded it and I've decided that it just looks nice there. And then all the way around the top, I've put this little eyelet trim all the way around. Um, and then we've got the first page. The pages are constructed. The background is felt. Uh, is it white felt, this one? White felt with an overlay of lace to start with. And then I've put my laces on the top. So this is the first page. Um, I've done this little bow I showed you that I made. Um... Last week, I think I made that now, and put my little cameo on, and I've put it on a, a, you know, just a gathered running stitch flower, and then just put on these little bows. These little doodars are all out of the thing, the um, unit thingy that um, Amy sent me, and you know, it's unbelievable. It's coming so useful. It's just unreal. And then I made this little pocket out of a doily. Um, put uh, just part of a lace trim that's just like one little off cut and a little button turned it into a made, folded it back and glued it made it look like it's a pocket and then in there is a little handmade flower um, I handmade all the petals and everything and then 
These are cut out of the uh, neck curtains. Lace flower on the back. So that's just a little spare flower for something. And then I put this lovely trim. One of my new ones from my new supplier that I've got. Um, I really, really like it. It's lovely. And then I made this flower here um, out of this little ruffle trim. And then it's backed on a just a little bit of... Uh, what's it backed on? I can't remember what it's on. Oh, gathered. bit of gathered lace. And then I've just stuck a little off cut of an applique. Just a tiny um, spare. It's not a scrap, it's a spare. Tiny spare bit I had. I just glued it to the inside there. And then a little flower with a uh, flat back pearl. A little bit of spare lace there dangling down and a little bit of beaded trim. Then these butterfly stick pins that I've made with the flowers. Um, different colours and just a couple of little bows there in the corner. And then this page here. I have overlaid with a lovely white cotton doily and some lovely, lovely Two pieces of lovely bridal applique that's really super sparkly. And then this lovely trim, which is one of my favourites. And then another one up the sides there, look. That I've got from my new supplier, 50p a metre. <laughs> Can't go wrong, can you? Um, and then these lovely stick pins that I've made. I've just got... What have I just knocked me? Just knocked my phone off. I've just bought these pearl-headed pins. I only had pink ones, now I've got pink and pearl. And then I've got these lovely glittery rondelles and crystals from a bracelet that I bought from a charity shop and broke up. They super, super sparkle. Like you can't really tell in this light. But there's like one, two, three, three diamante rondelles there in each stick pin. So they're super sparkly. And then because they've been backed on this wedding applique, then when you open the bucket, they just sparkle. And then I just put some bling trim down the centre. Um, little flower to each corner with purple, because one of Dee's favourite colours is purple. Just backed on tiny flower appliques. And then on this page, I've just got another doily and another little flower that I made. Um, out of the um, messing about with the Tim Holtz tattered floral and then this is some little off cuts from this lace here with the dangles bit of beaded trim, just some little butterflies that were in the pots that Amy sent me and then a lovely vintage image um, this is a canvasy one which means that's come from Kay because um, she sent me some that's on canvas. Oh, that looks like it's loose. Need to just glue that back down before I send it. And then I've got um, these little appliques that are fussy cut off of a larger piece. And then there's a little fairy charm there. And some more of my favourite little flowers with little flat back pearls. And some rolled, rolled, rolled ribbons. And then this is one of my favourite trims that I've bought. Um, from the guy that I've started going to get uh, lace trims from and he charges £2 a metre for this and I think it's just lovely I've also got it in what looks like a tea stained colour so for £2 a metre I don't think that's bad because um, if you were go to go to some of the more well known lace companies you'd be paying going towards £5 a metre for that easily um, so I think that's really super and then we're back to the back so that's my little gift for my friend Dee so I hope she likes it um, I just need to check it for glow strands like chewing gum it does me in and um, check that all the bits are Safe and secure and glued on right and then I'm going to put it in the post. So I hope she likes that. She should get that this week. And um, yeah, I think it's cute. So there you go. I hope she likes it. Bye ladies. One more video to do and then I can have my dinner. <laughs> like a bloody full time job this crafting life. Right ladies, thanks for watching. See you soon, bye for now.